हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द कंप्रेशन एंड द डीकंप्रेशन इन द लिनक्स प्लेटफॉर्म सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड इन द लिनक्स प्लेटफॉर्म देयर आर टू मेथड्स व्हिच मेनली विल बी यूज्ड टू कंप्रेस एंड द डीकंप्रेस वन इज टार मेथड एंड द अदर इज जी जिप मेथड और जिप मेथड सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद द टार मेथड so tar is an unix utility which stand for tap archiver so tar can either extract or combine the multiple files from or to single dot tar files what is that meaning so what tar actually do is so it will take the multiple files and it will convert it into dot tar file or it will take the dot tar extension file and come decompress it whatever the files which are present inside that so it will be decompressed so what is the format so what is the command which is used to perform the same so first thing is tar minus cf method so c means compression so what this command actually do so tar minus cf tar file dot tar file 1 file 2 what exactly it will do so it will take file 1 and file 2 as an input and compress it to compress into tar file dot tar okay what tar minus x uh, xf will do what tar minus xf will do so it will compress the tar file dot tr file to the current directory whatever it is present inside the tar files how it will be work so let's go into that linux platform we'll see how it will work so we are in the linux platform if we do ls minus lrth it will list all the files which is present in okay we'll go to inside waso directory there are three files which is present so we will create some two files file 1 okay file 3 so there are three files let me add something into that file okay something will be there how the tar command will work okay first i will do is sar minus cf so i will convert it into tar file dot tar i'll give input as file 1 file 2 we'll see what has happened so if you see that tar1 file dot tar has been created and if but whatever the files which is there it won't take as an like it won't convert it into dot file it will take just as an input and it will convert it into dot fi uh, tar file dot tar file but whatever the content will be there also present same in that same folder okay if you unzip the same thing you will be get to know that x means extract see it has been overwritten okay we will delete this files see the file has been extracted 
okay the next comment which will be used to compress or extract the files is zip command so in that zip command there is a two files one is gzip and the another one is gunzip one is gzip and another one is gunzip what gzip will do it will take file as in whatever the files we will be given it will take as an input and it will compress it to dot gz files what gunzip will do whatever the gz files is there right it will take that gz file and it will decompress or it will extract that file okay we'll see how it will be working okay we'll cancel it so if you see that there are currently file 1 file 2 file 3 i'll take input as a only file 1 so we'll see See, it will compress it to dot gz file but if you see that like previously when we did for tar files so it will take this one as an input and it will convert it into dot tar file but whatever the input we have provided it that one also will be present but in this case whatever the input file we have given it will be converted into dot gz file that is the main difference between the tar and the gz uh, gzip command Okay, if you want to unzip, what we will be doing, we have to use that gunzip command. See, whatever the .gz file is there, it will be extracted here. Okay, we will, but in the tar file case what is happened is like even if the file are present it will be overwritten even if it is not there it will extract but the tar file is still be there but in the gzip or gunzip command like if you perform the gzip like whatever the files we have given as an input it will be converted into dot gz but the whatever the files input whatever the files we have given an input that files won't be there but the opposite to tar files so I hope you have understood everything. Thank you. Thank you everyone. Bye.